We are going to talk about the fruit that will help in unclogging your arteries and reversing heart diseases. I am talking about pomegranate. Now this is the fruit that you should be eating on a daily basis in order to prevent heart diseases and reverse atherosclerosis. What is atherosclerosis? It is the hardening of the arteries where the cholesterol comes and gets deposited in the inner lining of your arteries. Now how does the inner lining of your arteries become visible? It can be due to a lot of condition. One of the major contributing factor is chronic high blood pressure. What happens that when your arteries are subjected to physical stress like in high blood pressure chronically, it can cause wear and tear of the lining of your arteries and this becomes exposed, the inner lining of your arteries become exposed and this inner line is very sticky in nature. So what can happen that if your body has high amount of oxidized LDL, that can come and get deposited. So your body sees this as an unnatural response. The deposition of the cholesterol in the inner lining is seen as an unnatural response. So inflammatory cells are sent to eat up the cholesterol particles and it leads to development of foam cells. So over a period of time what can happen that this can completely block this blood pipe and it can completely uh, shut down the blood flow. So whichever blood pipe will be affected that organ is going to suffer. So for example if coronary artery is affected what can happen that it can lead to heart attack. If carotid artery is affected, it can lead to stroke. If renal artery is affected, it can lead to uh, kidney failure. So, in order to function properly, it is must that your arteries are not clogged and there is a smooth flow of blood within the arteries and your arteries are not rigid, they are not hard. So, it's very, very important to eat pomegranate which will help in boosting the antioxidant capacity. The antioxidant property of pomegranate is far superior when compared to blueberry, cranberry or orange and because of that, it is able to decrease the macrophage oxidative stress. So it's going to significantly shrink the size of your atherosclerotic lesion. Pomegranate is also going to decrease the reactive oxygen species because it prevents liquid peroxidation. And pomegranate is also going to prevent LDL oxidation. So you should be eating pomegranate as a whole fruit rather than juicing you should be eating whole fruit you want to eat seed also because seed has got punisic acid now punisic acid is very very important to improve triglyceride to hdl ratio and this has also been shown to lower your triglyceride and thereby significantly decreasing your chances of heart diseases and punisic acid is an excellent uh, polyunsaturated fatty acid to combat metabolic syndrome so by improving insulin sensitivity it will also help in combating metabolic syndrome which is again one of the risk factor in the development of heart diseases pomegranate is a rich source of flavonoids it's a rich source of anthocyanin which give the juice of pomegranate a red color pomegranate is also very rich source of elagitanins now elagitanins are the polyphenolic compound which are used in plastic surgery to prevent skin flap death now when you consume pomegranate you get elagitanins which when they reach the intestine they get hydrolyzed to ellagic acid for this reaction water is necessary and they further are metabolized to urolithins by the gut microbiota so it's also very important to keep your gut healthy to keep your digestive system healthy in order to enhance the formation of urolithins from ellagitanins because this is the real compound that is going to have an anti-inflammatory effect on your body so unless your digestive system is healthy you cannot reap the real benefit of pomegranate I have made detailed videos on how to keep your gut healthy. You can check that in the playlist. Now, what you should also be knowing that pomegranate is also excellent for enhancing mitophagy. Mitophagy means it increases the clearance of the defective mitochondria. So one of the hypotheses given for aging is that as you age, your mitochondrial function declines. So mitochondria, we know, are the powerhouse of your cells. They generate energy. So as you age, there is decline in energy. So gradually, gradually, the cells die. And that is one of the hypotheses. Mitochondrial dysfunction is one of the hypotheses given for aging. So by enhancing mitophagy, it can also increase the energy level inside your body. You, can, you won't feel fatigue. You will feel more energized and you will feel young from within. So we can call pomegranate as an anti-aging fruit also. Pomegranate is also going to boost the availability of endothelial nitric oxide. And nitric oxide is very important to keep your arteries soft. So nitric oxide will improve the circulation within your arteries and help in decreasing the size of your atherosclerotic lesion. Now when you eat pomegranate, you ingest certain compounds which have to be metabolized. And two important organs you have to focus are your gut and liver. 
you want to keep your gut healthy in order to prevent inflammation especially the inflammation of your arteries because gut has lot of toxins antigens and if you have condition like leaky gut or uh, we call it as increased intestinal permeability what can happen that these antigens and toxins can uh, damage the inner lining and lead to inflammation so you have to keep your gut healthy then you should also keep your liver healthy because liver is the seat of detoxification and one of the best strategies of detoxif detoxification is increasing bile how to increase bile by uh, eating more beetroot then uh, sulfur containing uh, foods like uh, onion garlic then certain spices like uh, uh, ginger garlic cinnamon and green leafy vegetables these are excellent sources of detoxifying your body because it enhances the formation of bile so you must be on a healthy lifestyle in order to reap the benefit of pomegranate